Are you looking to make a prayer room to draw closer to God? I'm back with part two on turning this storage room into a prayer room. Hey, how's it going? I'm back uh, with the second part of uh, my progress on working with this storage room to turn it into a prayer room. If you watched the first episode, you may have noticed that the walls behind me are different looking now. We'll get into that. Uh, but first I wanna tell you some things that I did before I painted. So one of the first things that I did uh, to get started is I came in here and just clean out all the junk. You know, it's funny, as I get older and, and closer to Christ, I just realized that material things aren't that big of a deal anymore. I don't have such a grip on them where I can't let them go. I just came across stuff. I'm like, really, why am I keeping this? Yeah, so that's just some of the stuff I came across. But you know, as I'm going through all these material items, it reminds me of a certain scripture. This scripture comes from Matthew and Jesus is talking about treasures in heaven. He says, do not store up for yourself treasures on earth where moths and vermin destroy and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven where moths and vermin do not destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. So Jesus is telling us, don't worry about all the material things. That stuff's going to get thrown in the fire and burn up on the last day anyways. We need to be worrying about our future, our eternity with him, not the stuff that fills this room or our homes. Well, Jesus doesn't want us to focus on all the material things. Um, he wants our hearts to be right with him and he wants us to help other people get their hearts right with him. That's where we're going to be spending eternity. We're not going to be taking binoculars or cell phones with us or a bundle of wires or even lightsabers. So it doesn't matter. If you don't need it, get rid of it. If you know somebody that needs it, give it to them. So anyways, that's the, uh, the scripture I wanted to share with you because that came to my mind as I'm cleaning up this stuff. I did some Bible art on this specific scripture. So if you went ahead to drawforgod.com, you can look that up and, and see what I did with that. It's kind of cool. So the next thing I did is I took this stool and I cut about six inches off of it. Um, the counter height kind of makes you squeeze your legs right in there so tight. So obviously that wasn't comfortable because as we're sitting at the table, we're all like hunched over and yeah, that's there's nothing comfortable about that. So I cut off each leg and with, with just a hand saw just quick and dirty, that lowered it to be a very comfortable height and uh, that works out perfectly. Another thing that I did is I took the filing cabinets and I split them apart so I could fit my legs underneath those. It's kind of cool, I felt like Moses splitting the Red Sea. And after that, I threw some paint on the wall. I found this really cool gray that I had in mind that was already pre-mixed at the store. I just grabbed that and walked out. That was really easy. Um, painted the walls, painted the countertop, looks nice. I also took down that dark, depressing black backdrop that we had on the wall there, um, which kind of helped brighten it up a little bit. I still want to do something nice with this wall. My wife and I were talking about putting like some wood planks on there to give it a nice natural look to it and, and to add to the comfort. So what's next? I'm probably going to work on some lighting and obviously something to cover up that dirty wall. And please let us know if you've been inspired to start your own prayer room or war room, we would love to hear the ideas. We'd like to hear uh, what you're doing and hopefully share some inspiration back to us. Let us know what you've been doing because this is why we're making these videos to hopefully inspire you to draw closer to God. So there's your quick update for the second part of this uh, little mini series that I'm doing. Oh, by the way, my wife did pick me up a prayer journal. I've yet to write in it, but it's kind of cool. I love the red and it's almost same size as my Bible. Um, if you haven't checked out that video of uh, the prayer journal tips that she's done, um, go check it out now. It's very inspirational. So be sure to come back for part three for more progress. Uh, my wife and I are going to be doing a lot more different videos, so just keep checking back, drawforgod.com. We've got Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, whatever, however you want to follow us, we're, we're there. If this video has inspired you in any way, I encourage you to like it, share it, subscribe. we got a whole lot more, so stay tuned. See you later. <laughs>